Question 3. Simon went for a cycle ride. He left home at 2 p.m. The travel graph represents part of Simon's cycle ride. At 3 p.m. Simon stopped for a rest. And this is shown by a straight line that goes horizontally across the graph. The distance doesn't increase. Question A. How many minutes did he rest? So if this line represents his resting time, that's from 3 until half past 3. So half an hour is represented by 30 minutes. Part B. How far was Simon from home at 5 p.m.? So if we look at 5 p.m., the graph shows that he is 20 kilometers away from home. For part C. Complete the travel graph. At 5 p.m., Simon stopped for 30 minutes. So we can show that he stopped by drawing a straight horizontal line at 5 p.m. that lasts for 30 minutes, which is half of the big square or one of the medium-sized squares on the graph paper. Then he cycled home at a steady speed. Now, a steady speed is represented by a diagonal line that is straight, because that shows that his speed never changes. It took him 1 hour 30 minutes to get home. So after his break, he doesn't immediately appear back at home. It takes him half an hour, an hour, an hour and a half, meaning he'll get home at 7 p.m. So this diagonal line down to 7 p.m. shows the remainder of his journey.